madness. What else can it be when you're close to me? I'm not responsible, darling. Your lips are so filling, and each thrill lasts forever. You must learn to play poker, Eleanor. Like anyone, I am flawed and have a fierce genetic bias towards competition. But each Saturday, I read the other players, and I pick a man who will benefit the most from victory. By the final hand, I ensure that he takes home my entire stake and that of the others. I win nothing but the feeling of conquest over myself and the wealth of my competitors is slowly reshuffled according to their needs. Mistake my nature, Delta. I wish no Adam for myself. Eleanor is the dream, and she needs neither weapons nor parlor tricks. in pictures. Real cute. Now get rid of the muscle and deal with her. ends up in you, but you're sort of a silent partner, so that's tops with me. Mending my own clothes, who'd have thought? Me? My lantern's lit, drop <laughs> She's helpless. <laughs> Her as 
a kind of secular saint. But dividing her loyalty evenly across the world at large spreads it so thin as to be invisible to some. Love, I have found, is beneath her. Naturally, Ryan arrested her, gave her to Sinclair to incarcerate somewhere. But upon her escape, she took the city and changed my life forever. sisters are getting older, which is troubling. As they reach adolescence, they become aggressive, feral. Worse, the atom they ingest contains traces of lethal plasmids left over from the war. The splicers are becoming far more effective predators as well. Our big daddies are falling left and right. Perhaps, perhaps the elder sisters could be trained to sniff out the lost atom and reclaim it for us. Yes, from what I've seen, they certainly wouldn't have to wait for the culprit to die.
I raised my children there. I. Ah! Yes. 